So we're doing a massive undertaking of just redesigning majority of our vehicles and we've already redesigned our electric variants, redesigned our EE Sport, we've redesigned our Grande, we've redesigned some of the e-performance, we've redesigned the Allure, and redesigned our Dove industry. So we're down to our last three categories, the ETD, Titan, and Emerson. And we really want to make sure that we do a, a, an exceptional job on our Emerson primarily because it's our volume seller. We've upgraded some of our factories to try to start giving more of a variety for our volume sellers as opposed to just the base model. So we've gone through some of our motors and we started not discontinuing certain motors, even though we'll probably be hit with a penalty, but we wanted to kind of keep some of them around initially because we wanted to pretty much make sure that we had a variety of power plants for our customers just to give them a performance upgrade if they so choose to have one. So this is pretty much the way that the vehicle looks after we redesigned it. It still has the basic same shell We've updated our mirrors, our door handles, our lights. We've changed the wheels to be a little more in line with the majority of them instead of just some of them having a wider wheel or a larger wheel. So we're looking at our manufacturing process to make sure that we're bringing the models closer together. Since there's a variety of different vehicles, we didn't necessarily want to have them all look different. So we're going to finish this one out. We're going to be calling this one the, it's going to be the, for the 1940 model year. It's going to be the Emerson Lark. We've gotten them down to about the thousand dollar mark for majority of them across the board. So our customers have invested enough money into our products that we're able to pass that savings on to them because it's costing us a little bit less to make them. But some vehicles um, that are the specialized vehicles like this coupe here and uh, the coupe 2 plus 2, some of our more ultra vehicles, uh, which is a step up, we aren't able to get those prices down primarily because of the added expense research and development so as far as where we're at in the world we're competing primarily in the united states area some parts of mexico some parts of europe and then we're also competing in australia and one part of africa so as you can see, even though we lowered our prices, skyrocketing in the Chicago, Detroit, and New York areas, and pretty much just across the United States, we are to the point now where we're starting to descend. So we were at 13,000, and now we're at about nine so we've lost a considerable amount of of buying power